and Christine are setting out on a new adventure. They're motoring north from Brisbane on their honeymoon. But there's no holiday ahead. Jim has saved just enough to get married, buy the old bus, and take up a property 76 miles north of the Queensland capital, Brisbane. Christine isn't sure yet about the property or the shack. But Jim has dreams. He can see a lush growth of tropical fruits, a growing family, and after the first years of hard work, a pleasant life in the northern sunshine. Their farm is near Nambour on the coast, and the meal break for Jim is another chance to convince his wife that the bush and the soil can be tamed. As the weeks pass, Jim makes quick progress with clearing the land. The first planting of pine tops finally go into the soil. And while they are nursed along, Jim has time to look around at the natural beauties of the Maruchi River District. Time to meet the neighbours, who have made big successes from the same small beginnings. Sugarcane, pineapples, ginger, bananas, vegetables, dairy produce and timber all grow in the rich valleys. When the children here go to school, many go by water. A far more restful trip than crowded city trains, trams and buses. The lessons taught here are the same as in any other part of Australia. And of course the river is handy for playtime. From the base of the old banana plants, Young suckers are cut and used to establish new plantations. The bunches are cut while the fruit is green and according to where they are to be marketed are left in hands or packed singly into boxes. Once the plantation is underway, the crop continues all the year round. A comparative newcomer to Queensland's tropical crops is ginger, which provides a rich harvest to those who grow it. Constantly moving through the district are the field officers of the Department of Agriculture. And every so often they hold a field day, so that everyone can benefit from mutual problems and Jim is no exception. He asks about a disease developing on his banana leaves. The answer is readily supplied in the form of a new spray. Now the plantation is going ahead in leaps and bounds for Jim and Christine and their family has started to grow too. With everything going so well this will only spur them into a new campaign. In Queensland, the neighbourly spirit is strong. Whether it's helping Jim build a house, or a trip to the nearest town for shopping, and meeting their friends. Resting gently in the hills, Nambour has 5,000 people and wide, well-planned streets. Great pride is taken in Nambour State Rural and High Schools, which provide first-class educational facilities. And to enliven the picturesque town, in the cane season, the sugar trains puff through the main street to the mill.
until things really get going well. Christine buys only the essentials. Jim has his eye on a tractor to lighten his long hours in the sun. He'll have one, and soon, if the weather stays kind to his crop. However, for the moment, every penny counts. The tractor must wait. Nambour, just like any other town in Australia, is feeling the welcome influence of New Australians. And the Feast of St. Nicholas is an occasion for the people of Nambour to join their Dutch friends in celebrations. pineapples are to be harvested, the community spirit rises to the occasion again. And the families travel from their own small farms to the neighbours, so that everyone has more than enough help. Fruit moves in a steady stream from one farm after another. Jim and Christine are being rewarded for their hard work. The first pineapples are believed to have arrived from India. Although planted in Sydney about 1824, they didn't become a major crop until they were introduced to the subtropical and tropical north. Now the thousands of growers are big business, sending their crops in open boxes by rail to their own cooperative cannery, where they'll be sliced or crushed for juice. And there's a ready market also in the southern states for the fresh fruit. Healthy crops mean healthy checks in return. And good seasons mean it's time for the family to take its first holiday away from the developing acres. Every Australian family likes the beach. And only a few miles from Nambour, the river reaches the sea at Maloolaba. Friends are already there waiting for Jim and Christine. This is one of the beaches visited by tourists from all parts of Australia. Jim and baby Peter make the most of it. There's no work to be done here. This is a fair reward for those who have toiled, and those who will toil in the future. Well, Jim's dream of prosperity has come true, and the new tractor will mean even bigger and better crops around the homestead. The future is bright, the soil has been tamed. And there's a healthy existence away from the bustle of the cities as the pineapples expand row by row into the hills. This is the land of the tropical fruit grower.